Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Cancer and Capricorn on Thursdays. Also, I do just want to let you guys know that the deck that I'm using today is called the Modern Spellcasters Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting your personal reading, my information is in the description below. But I do just want to tell you guys a little bit more about how I shuffle cards. Uh, sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them. However, I usually really only take cards that jump out of the deck like these ones have. And usually if they jump out in groups that are big, that are too big, I'll go ahead and put them back in and continue shuffling. But my main goal here is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards and then we can get started on your reading. So I'm just going to try to pull two or three more cards and then we can get started. All right, Capricorn. So if you guys enjoy the reading or if it really resonates with you guys, I do want to give you guys a quick reminder that the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. So I do just want to start off with your overall energy over here. Uh, the ace or rather the page of pentacles talks about some kind of a message coming forth. And you know, the page element is symbolic of the message, whereas the pentacles element is symbolic of the time that it'll take for the message to come in, as well as what kind of message it is. So whenever you have any kind of message that's coming in with pentacle energy, you know that it's going to be related to your stability in some way, shape, or form, right? So... A lot of times it's very literal in the sense that it's an offer or some kind of a message that's related to your money, work, or career that allows you to have some better stability. But it could be a little bit more indirect in the way that something, for example, like the adoption of a pet gives you some kind of stability emotionally right? Or even mentally, right? For some of you guys, you may very well benefit from having a pet in the house uh, or something similar to that. So look for this page of pentacles in a lot of different ways in your life, right? So it, it could be as simple as, let's say, a phone call that gives you small information that will long-term make things easier for you, right? So I'm also getting it for some of you guys, it might actually even be synchronicities. So pay attention to the numbers that you see repeating. And then I would highly recommend doing a little bit of research on your own about your particular number and see what message comes up for you because I could always just like read you a definition, but I feel like wh whichever number definition finds its way to you is probably going to be the one that is most resonant to you anyway. But what I'm getting here is very interesting because we have this Hierophant in reverse with this Three of Pentacles. Now, the Hierophant of rever in reverse has been one of those cards that, in like one of those energies that throughout the, the week that I've done this deck has felt very prevalent. So I feel like right now, if you're he here watching this video, it's because you guys have to do something in relation to innovation. Whenever we see the Hierophant in the upright, we know that it has to do with tradition and the establishment, you know, like things that have been literally established in the past and things that are continuing to go, right? Things that are very much tied to longevity and things that are going to be very stable and be there. But when we see the Hierophant in reverse, it's because we're looking at change. 
right? We're looking at innovation, we're looking at new energy, we're looking at energy that maybe isn't so reinforced like a tradition is. This is something that's very new, right? And as a result, it doesn't necessarily have that longevity or that stability that tradition might have. But I feel like with this card in reverse, it's saying that you should really try to pave your own path right now. Don't just walk the path that other people have uh, because those people were in different times and were in different circumstances that probably facilitated that path more than you. I feel like the world is very much changing right now and it could benefit you to look at some new approaches to the situations in your life and the things that you can do, right? I'm getting it for a lot of you, it'd strongly work. And it's very fitting that we have this Three of Pentacles here because the Three of Pentacles talks about working together. So talk to your coworkers, talk to your friends and family, talk to the people that you care about. Uh, a friends is a big one, but talk to them and see if you can come to a solution. See if you can find through like the exchange of ideas, something that'll allow you to be a little bit happier. And like I was saying, we have this sort of stability here that's coming in and this idea of working together with people. And then we also have this Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles therefore feels like past energy to me because the Five of Pentacles is all about being left out in the cold. And that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here with this so-called instability that you've been possibly facing. For some of you, you might not be necessarily like unstable or instable financially or emotionally or whatever, but I feel like you've felt the present the presence of this person who has shut you out uh when you could have really used their help right and you know i say help and in my mind i mean like i, I hear money but in like my intuition i hear all kinds of things i hear money i hear love i hear um emotional mental physical spiritual right i hear like all these different kinds of approaches but i feel like what this card is here to tell you is that you can do it you can make it on your own even though you feel like you're in this eight of swords energy where you're trapped and you can't move forward there's something coming in and it might be slow but it's coming and it's going to allow you to be able to really move forward and it's very interesting because, you know, this moment here where you're sort of left out in the cold, where somebody sort of slams their door on you, is obviously going to leave you a little bit heartbroken or a little bit distraught. And that's why we have this Three of Swords here. But because it's in reverse, the devastation that you feel when you have, like, an opportunity taken away or something that goes wrong in your life, uh, you know, that moment where your door is shut you're kind of getting over it and you're moving into a more higher vibrational point instead of, you know, being afraid or being sad because of what happened. And I feel like that's very nice because you, I think that for a lot of you guys, you might actually even be adopting this, like, whatever happens, happens kind of attitude. And like, ever, there are no coincidences, whatever happens is for my higher good, right? When you start to adopt ideals like that, you start to vibrate much higher. And that will in turn allow you to manifest the things that you want far quicker and far easier. And like I was saying here with this Three of Swords, it feels like you're moving past that pain. And with this Four of Wands, it feels like I, okay, let me explain it this way. It doesn't feel like love, right? So when I see the Four of Wands, it's typically a celebration of marriage kind of a card or like a leveling up in relationship. But I feel like at its core, the Four of Wands talks about commitment. And commitment could be to anything. It could be to a person, but it could also be to an idea, to a project, to something. And I feel like because you've sort of gone through this, like moment where you that you were told no and like you've gone through the heartache or whatever it's allowed you to be in a situation where you don't necessarily have to be terribly committed to what your outcome is so like for some of you guys you may have wanted a job and then you didn't get around to signing the contract because of x y or z but i feel like if you had signed that contract it would have ended up detrimenting you in some way, shape, or form, but because you haven't, it, it feels like it's allowed you to have more variety in your life, which, like, 
I understand that sometimes no surprise is better than any surprise, but I feel like it allows you the opportunity to, instead of going through one door, have multiple doors open for you and you get more chance to pick. And I feel like that's going to give you a lot of power in the end because you have the Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles, I feel like, is the kind of card that's right up your alley because you have this new beginning um, that's coming in to grant you some kind of stability here with the Page of Pentacles as your overall energy. And then you have this nice Seven of Pentacles up card to really complement that energy, to complement that wanting to... Or rather the energy of a message coming in, of an opportunity coming in, really complements the Seven of Pentacles energy where you're wanting to really put the work in, wanting to grow your seeds of intention, and you're wanting to see the situation flourish, right? And with this Three of Wands, the Three of Wands is a phenomenal card, especially if this is about love or even like a relationship. Anywhere where you're being quote-unquote evaluated, this is a wonderful card because this is the card of you already having taken action and now you're waiting to see what the results are. And I feel like with all these energies in consideration, the results of what your actions are are going to be very positive and they're also going to allow you some room to grow uh, both as like a I want to say like into your into like a better position and also as being as good as you can possibly can be at whatever it is that you're doing right and for some of you that activity might be like being a partner being a worker being just being you right because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to accept ourselves for who we are and like really love ourselves unconditionally but I feel like those are things that you're really learning to to do and to do well and you're taking huge strides but that was your reading first time around capricorn if you enjoyed please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel and i personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys but like i said before i upload my new videos for capricorn on thursday but in the meantime you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that i have up on the channel and with that being said i hope to see you guys next time for your next reading